What's up everybody, this is Wing. I'm here to introduce to you the final color of the Aragon Millimax GMT Automatic. The previous color was introduced about a year ago. They sold out very quick. Uh, only two colors left, of course, is yellow and the lime green, but with limited numbers. And I'm here to introduce to you the final colors, which is the pink dial numbered limited edition from one to 100. All right, let's go, let's dive in, and let's talk about this watch right here, right now. So this watch needs no introduction because if you're familiar, familiar with the Aragon brand, we came out this collection last year. Okay, this is a spin-off of the Millipede. As you can see, it has a very unique bracelet design and all these screws are functional with the stainless steel bar going across to link all the bracelet together very comfortable and it's it's a very very unique design for the bracelet so what you see here is is the millipede max gmt automatic it has a seiko nh34 if you have been following the aragon brand one of my favorite feature is the gmt this is a true GMT automatic movement, okay? So we also have the Soprat, uh, the C125 is a Swiss GMT automatic, uh, but this one is a Seiko. So anyway, um, what I like about this movement quickly, if you're not, if you have not seen uh, the Seiko N34, I wanna give you a quick demonstration. And then I will also talk about the design of this watch. Now, just right before I give you the, um, you know, to show you how uh, about this movement. This is the final color for the Millipede Max GMT. So we had the charcoal, the blue, the lime green, and the yellow. And I believe the lime green and the yellow are the only colors left. The pink is the final color. And these are all numbered limited edition. Okay, uh, the numbers are engraved in the back of the case back. It's one to 100 pieces. So it's first come, first serve. So let's do a quick demonstration of the GNT movement, okay? So here we go. So I'm gonna make it easy for everybody. Let's just say this is 12 midnight, right? This is 12 a.m. If we look at the large hand, and the GMT hand right now is pointing at the 2100, which is three hours behind, okay? So let's just call this second time zone right now. The way we work is 12 o'clock Eastern time and the triangle hand is pointing at 2100, which is Los Angeles or California. So as you go forward, right, let's say 3 a.m. in the morning, okay? I'm not gonna block, let's just go four, okay? 4 a.m. in the morning, if you look at triangle, it's pointing at the one, so it's 1 a.m. in California. Now, if you want, this is um, what I call two time zone, your local time and your second time zone. Let's say if you want to adjust to uh, uh, the, uh, let's just say here. All right, so we have four o'clock and we have three. So let's just say uh, central time, Illinois. So what I do is, all right, so let's just say six o'clock in florida it will be 5 a.m in central time illinois or somewhere is i think this is really really cool so the way it works with this movement i just love it the simplicity and the true the fact of the true gmt is you pull the uh, the crown to the first click and you turn counter clock you turn clockwise okay so let's say if you want military time right so that's how you align it. So this is 12 p.m. I'm gonna go 12 p.m. here. So it becomes military time to read it. So let's say, go, 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 fast forward. I'll fast forward to nine o'clock. Okay, 9 p.m. It will be 2100. Isn't that cool? So this watch has uh, two functions of the GMT. One is, um, 
the military time and the other function will be the second time zone. It's such a cool movement in my opinion and it, Seiko just make it so affordable and we all know Seiko movement is one of the most reliable automatic movement out there. Um, what other features can I share with you is this very unique crown guard. Okay, there's an Aragon brand on the side. Uh, I love the design of this case. It's a cushion case. Okay, but what I made is multiple angle. Okay, besides the uniqueness of the bracelet, you can also see the first end link. It has a lot of angles in the case. Flat side wall. Thickness of the case is about 15. The one I'm holding right now is 48 millimeter from 9 to 3 o'clock position. All right, so... With the crown guard, it acts and wear a slightly larger than it should be. So if you guys like 48 millimeter large watch case, okay, this is the one to pick. Get the pink dial with number limit edition. That's our tradition that we do. Most of the time when we do the pink dial, we do limited edition. Okay, the crown guard is awesome. It protects the crown. There's also screw down crown inside. Okay, let's just say it when you unscrew it pops make sure you lock it okay and then you have the crown under to protect the screw down crown okay the 24 hour fixed bezel is located sapphire crystal sapphire crystal no kidding right so uh the blue rotor decoration decorated rotor in the back uh, you need two Allen screw driver to size this bracelet. So one on each side, and then you slowly turn, right, counterclockwise. And then usually what I recommend, you see how we do it, is very balanced. So what you usually do, you're taking out the six o'clock side first. If you just need to take one, if you need to take two, so you take one on each side micro adjustment it makes a perfect fit for your wrist so here we go i just showed you the 40 millimeter version so if you are out there looking for a truly unique spectacular timepiece you gotta go for this one look at how it looks on my wrist this is a 42 millimeter nine to three o'clock position it fits perfectly uh it's all about the bracelet with this. So can you imagine yourself wearing this watch and everybody will be staring at the bracelet? You know, there's the conservative bracelet, there's this unique bracelet, you know, like the uh, three link dive master. It's also very good looking too. Look at the construction of this watch. Very well built, very solid. However, uh, it's more lightweight, be not because the quality is less. It's just the design of the bracelet. We have a lot of cutout. So every time when you do something like that, it reduces the weight of the watch because it's removing stainless steel out of the bracelet. Um, so if you look at the thickness of the, the, the thickest area, it's about six millimeter, and it slims down to about like a three. So each one from six to three and then joins together to form this bracelet. Very, very cool. The, the 40 millimeter has a tw uh, 24 millimeter lug size. Of course, if you like the watch case and you know, you're know you handy like most of the watch enthusiasts out there, you can just remove this and put a leather strap or put a NATO strap on it or pull a silicone strap on it. It will make and transform this watch into a complete different look. Same thing goes with the 42 millimeter. It's just have a really good look and unique time, you know, unique watch. If you are a watch enthusiast, I'm sure you have a lot of varieties of watches. Maybe you don't have something like that. Okay, maybe you don't have a GMT movement. So anyway, um, it was really good to show you this final color of the Mill Millimax GMT automatic and um, it's numbered limited edition. So don't forget, it's also water resistance with a screw down crown. Uh, it's 990 feet. So this is a really, really good, you know, 
timepiece for you to enjoy. All right, I will see you next time with the next watch. All right, see you later, guys.